So now we're going to look at importing our files from the HM100 into Avid Media Composer version 3.5. Now version 3.5 comes with something new that Avid has added and uh, that is the Avid Media Access or AMA which is really great because it uh, speeds up the workflow and there's no longer waiting to convert all of your mp4 files into another format. So what we're going to be showing you today is the mp4 format and how it works with Avid's AMA. So here we go. We're going to make a new project. And uh, this new project has defaulted. If it doesn't default to this, then just select it. But 1080p uh, 24 or 23.976. It's important that you choose 23.976 because the HM100 and 700 are actually incapable of recording at true 24 frames per second. Um, only film cameras and certain cinema cameras can truly record at 24 frames. Otherwise, all HD cameras that do 24p are actually recording at 23.976. So we make sure we choose that. And as well, our raster dimension, if you were shooting in HQ format, which is 35 megabits per second, make sure you choose the 1920 by 1080. If you were shooting in the SP, uh, which is uh, 25 or 19 megabits per second, um, and in our case it would be 25 for 1080, then the horizontal resolution would be 1440. But um, we shot in full 35 megabits, so we're choosing 1920 by 1080. And we'll just give this a name, we'll call it the HM100 MP4 Import Test. Okay. Now what's going to happen, I have the card, the SDHC card plugged in. You can see over here that Avid has automatically imported everything that was on the card. It sees the card uh, as having XDCAM EX files on it and all of the MP4 files have been imported and uh, we can play them instantly if we want. Now this workflow is designed really for news. So a news cameraman could bring a card in to an editor and go, okay, here's the footage, has to be on the five o'clock news, start cutting now. And you could cut literally from the card, that wouldn't be a problem, uh, USB 2 can handle it. But then what you would do if you wanted a permanent copy is at the end of your sequence, you would cut it together really quickly and then you would consolidate it to a hard drive after the fact so that you at least had the footage that you used in your sequence. Well, the thing is, that isn't a really great workflow if you want to protect this media because the AMA is referring directly to the card. So what I want to do is import my clips that I've actually already copied to the hard drive and I put them in my documents folder. But bef just before I do that, I need to go into settings and just double check my AMA settings here. So just double click and um, I'm going to select use the active bin. So when I activate this bin that I custom made, I want to import those clips into that bin. Uh, the other thing that I want to do is on the volume mounting, if I've already imported a, uh, a bin, it won't do it again. It'll only do it once unless you turn on this. Always mount the volume. Do not check for modifications. Okay, so let's just give this a try. So I've selected this bin and I'm going to link to an AMA volume. And here's my, uh, my folder that I made, HM100 700 Media. And inside, of course, you see the BPAV. So I'm just going to select the top folder here, say OK, and there's the clips. They came in. Now this time, they're playing off of the hard drive. So I can take this one, volume E, don't want the volume E bin, and I'm just going to close it, and in fact, I'm going to move it to the trash, so delete the selected bin. So my files are still safe on my card, and I'm now working with media that I've copied to my hard drive, and we are in the native XDCAM EX format. I can just insert into a new sequence and just start editing away. 